Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is the nucleic acids from various viruses were extracted and examined to determine their base composition given the following results what you can hypothesize about the physical nature of the nucleic acids from these viruses. And before I will show you how to solve this problem you have to know that viruses can be of the different kind from the point of view of the um, genetic composition. For example, viruses can be double uh, uh, stranded DNA, so we call them DS DNA, can be um, made of single strand of the DNA, so we call them SS DNA, single stranded DNA viruses. Viruses also can be uh, double-stranded RNA, RNA, and can be single-stranded RNA viruses. And uh, single-stranded RNA viruses also can be of the two kind, uh, positive and negative strand, if it is single strand viral genome. If you'll say this is going to be capsids, uh, also can be um, circular. It can be fragmented, just for example, like uh, flu, genome of the flu virus. And uh, it's also can be, can represent just a single continuous chromosome, but also has the end and the uh, beginning of this single chromosome. What else you need to know that when double-stranded DNA, we have double-stranded DNA, let's say this is double-stranded DNA, and we have a random sequence, for example, A, T, C, G, G, A, T, T, C, C. On the uh, as a corresponding strand of the DNA, we are going to have thymine, adenine, guanine, cytosine, cytosine, thymine, adenine, adenine, guanine, guanine here. Because uh, adenine always base pairs with thymine and cytosine base pairs with guanine. If we know this uh, principle, we can solve this problem. For example, take a look. Variant A, we have 35% adenine, 35% thymine, 15% guanine, and 15% cytosine. We see that uh, adenine and thymine content uh, is the same. And this is true for double-stranded DNA and uh, also guanine and cytosine. Uh, the content equals. So we can say that this first variant would be double-stranded DNA virus. Let's now take a look at this virus. 35% adenine, 15% thymine. We know that adenine we pair with thymine and the numbers should equal in double-stranded DNA. Take a look. 1A, 2, 3, 4, five. How many zymines we have? One, two, three, four, five. These numbers are equal, but here these numbers are not equal. So we can say that uh, this is going to be uh, DNA-based virus, but it's going to be single-stranded DNA virus. And as for the last variant, we have here 35% adenine, 30% uracil, 30% guanine, and 5% cytosine. We see that number numbers of the bases guanine and cytosine are not equal. And we see here instead of thymine, uracil. So if we have uracil, that means that this is RNA-based virus, but it also can be double-stranded, but because number of uracils and adenines are not equal, we can say that this is single-stranded RNA virus. 
And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.